Welcome to IT Project Management Agile Scrum. In this learning activity, you'll be introduced to how the Agile methodology uses the Scrum framework. Scrum. What is a Scrum? The term Scrum comes from scrummage. No, this isn't a typo. In rugby, a scrummage, or scrum, restarts gameplay after a minor penalty. It looks like a large pack of players on the field all jostling for the ball. You're probably asking, what does a rugby scrum have to do with agile software development? The answer is, just as a rugby team uses a scrum to reposition themselves after their game stops, agile teams use a scrum to reposition themselves in response to changes that come in during a sprint. Agile uses the Scrum to manage the iterative process. It allows the team to work together to overcome obstacles one at a time. Using a Scrum increases productivity and reduces the time it takes to deliver working products. Using a Scrum also enables the team to react to changing requirements. As the customer's needs change, the Scrum's flexibility helps the team adjust to the shifting goals. A Scrum team is made of a product owner, a Scrum master, and the development team. The product owner is in charge of the product's success. They talk to the customer, the users, any internal stakeholders, and the team to make sure the product is meeting the customer's needs. They also optimize the value of the team's work, identify backlogs, and prioritize the work. The product owner keeps the product on track. The Scrum Master is responsible for the process. They ensure the development team understands the work process and they remove obstacles. The Scrum Master also sets the pace and acts as the buffer between the team and any external distractions. The Scrum Master is responsible for keeping the process on track. Remember that both the product owner and the Scrum Master are servant leaders. They're available to help, but they don't direct or dictate the work. The development team is responsible for completing the work. They collaborate with the product owner during each sprint to deliver a working prototype. The team, usually made up of nine or fewer long-term members, should be collaborative and autonomous. The team makes their own decisions about development, testing, and production. The Scrum framework is made up of four events. Sprint planning, daily scrum, sprint review, and sprint retrospective. Each event occurs regularly at a specific time and for a specific length, and each event is transparent, which helps ensure success. During sprint planning, the team decides the work that needs to be completed. The entire team collaborates to decide what can be delivered during the upcoming sprint and how that work will be achieved. The sprint is the main event with a time box of one month or less. A time box is a fixed period of time, and the term is often used in project management. Sprints are successive, so a new one starts when the previous one ends. Each sprint delivers a working product. The daily scrum is usually a stand-up meeting that lasts approximately 15 minutes. During this time, each member of the development team answers these questions. What did I do yesterday? What will I do today? And do I see any impediment in my way? By listening to what each team member accomplished yesterday and what they'll accomplish today, the team learns what progress has been made and what work is still outstanding. The daily scrum isn't just a status update. 
Instead, it's a meeting where team members make commitments to each other about the work they're going to do. If any team member has a roadblock, it's the Scrum Master's responsibility to handle the problem. A sprint review is held after each sprint ends. During this review, the team and other stakeholders discuss what was completed. The team presents the current version of the product. They also discuss what went well, what problems came up, and how those problems were resolved. The product owner identifies what backlogs have been completed and what still remains. As a group, they discuss and decide what to do during future sprints. The Agile Scrum enables a software development team to control their project, quickly respond to changes, and increase the quality of the deliverables. The Agile Scrum allows the team to be, well, more Agile. You have completed IT Project Management Agile Scrum.